Hi, my name is Robert Tabor, and I got into shoe sculpting back in New York City when I was doing some crazy over-the-top costumes for some various performers and entertainers. And to finish off the costumes, you just can't use any regular old pair of shoes. So I started taking the theme of the costume into the shoes. And I was noticing people were loving the costumes, but they were taking photographs of those shoes. And I'm like, hmm, <laughs> okay, something's going on here. So it was shortly after that that I had the pleasure of meeting Jane Weitzman. And I believe it was her artistic or window director, I should say, art director that noticed one of the windows I had done down in Greenwich Village, which was a large shoe prop where a mannequin was sitting in it, but happened to be made out of a thrown away refrigerator box. He contacted me via that store and asked, how do you feel about creating some shoes for the Stuart Weitzman stores? And I was like, really? <laughs> yes, let's go. <laughs> I was all in, I was ready to go. So I have to credit Jane Weitzman for lighting this fire in me in passion for shoe sculpting. Thank you, Jane. Um, I was very fortunate to be able to sketch, create, and produce some large shoe prompts in various themed shoe collections for the Stuart Weitzman stores. Some of the themes were things like the Wizard of Oz, all the characters, which was very fun. Some high heel beauty shoes, which revolved around makeup and beauty products for ladies. We did some fantasy winter wonderland sparkling crazy shoes. And it was when they were gonna open their store on Rodeo Drive in California. They wanted to do a collection of award-winning movies in their first ladies. So we did things like Barbra Streisand from Funny Lady and Diana Ross, Lady Sings the Blues. We did shoes on Elizabeth Taylor and her movies, uh, Marilyn Monroe, Betty Davis, Joan Crawford, and the list goes on. It was really a great collection, and I believe that collection traveled throughout all the Stuart Weitzman stores through the United States. And I have one really funny story to tell you. It was one time in New York City where I had to go to the corporate offices of Stuart Weitzman. I needed to pick up some Stuart Weitzman shoes that I was gonna be applying themes and whatever artwork on. So you walk off the elevator and there's this beautiful, gorgeous leather, high heel chair that you sit in <laughs> and you wait in the waiting area. So I was like, okay, I could live here. Then this very nice assistant came in and brought me to this shoe storage room or whatever. And you walk in and it was amazing. There were floor to ceiling shelves with hundreds and hundreds <laughs> of beautiful Stuart Weitzman shoes. So of course it took me forever to pick out the ones I wanted to do. I just wanted to stay there the whole day. So it was a very fun experience. And here it is 25 years later, and I am still excited and fortunate enough to be working on my favorite project in the whole world, shoe sculptures. And I've even been able to get some commission work over the years of making things like shoe chandeliers and even a Barbie shoe chandelier for Mattel toys. Um, they're for funky themed restaurants and so on. And of course, I continue to create things for my own personal collection for sale on Etsy. And it just goes without saying, Jane, <laughs> I am so grateful for the opportunities you've given me and many, many other creative artists over the years. Jane, we love you, we applaud you, we celebrate you. Thank you.